As our lives become more digital, it gets increasingly harder to keep our personal information safe. And now, even fashion brands are creating products that seek to protect customer information. And joining us now is tech and style expert, Sherelle Starr. Sherelle, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Well, we're happy to have you. And you brought us some really cool products. Some of them actually protect, they have the RF, RI, excuse me, there we go, FD fraud protection. First of all, can you tell us? viewers what RIFD protection is. Sure, RFID protection, radio frequency ID, essentially. And if you think about your credit card, that tiny little chip that everyone wants your credit card to have, that is the RFID, uh, basically signal or emitter that's built into your card. And so um, that thing is always on. So whenever it's in your pocket, it's always on. And so when you beep it at the, at the register and it's sending over your credit card information, it's because it's always on, it never goes off. And so there have been some issues with people actually skimming that information, actually being able to take that information basically out of the air wow. um, and copy your credit card information. And so there are products on the market today like uh, Kay Carroll with their handbags that actually block that signal wow. so okay. no one can skim it. And so it's basically just built into the wallet itself. And she's got a couple different versions of this for her for her line of fashion um, accessories. But so where is it exactly? So they're actually, it's actually built into the fabric liner oh. of, her, of the card slots for these particular, this is the crossbody bag, but it's actually built in here. So you'd put your credit cards in here okay. or even your passport behind here because sometimes the passports have the RFID chip in them as well. Right. And you slip that in there and then you don't have to worry about anyone being able to pull that information from you. So a little, very fancy, kind of handy, but it, it protects that information okay. from being skimmed out of the air. So that's very essentially what it is. It's the radio frequency built into that little chip. So you mentioned passports. When, when are consumers most vulnerable with this type of theft? You know, honestly, um, what we're seeing is it's, it, they tend to be more, more vulnerable when they travel outside of the U.S. Okay. In the U.S., a lot of the, um, the, the the skimming of information, the skimming of credit card information is coming from the dark web. It's coming from people buying thousands of credit card numbers at one time. Um, but you can never be too safe. And if it's, you know, you're going to buy a new purse, a new wallet anyway, why not get one that protects you and you can just carry it with you at all times? Well, Cheryl, you've also bought some other cool products. For us. I will say, I'd like to go to these little socks here because, first of all, they're super cute. Aren't isn't that super, super, super cute? cute. Yeah, exactly. So let's go to the super cute small little socks. And what do these do? Exactly? So this is the Owlet. Um, uh, <laughs> It's adorable, adorable for the tiniest little feet, right. tiniest little feet. So these are, this is essentially um, a, a monitor, a baby monitor, smart stock number two from Owlet, um, Owlet.com. And what it does is it allows parents to monitor the heart rate and the oxygen level of their baby by putting this on their little foot. Um, and so if you're a new parent, a new mom, new dad, you um, the first time you're putting them in the bed, first couple times you're putting them to bed, you're probably a little worried, you're probably a little anxious. This actually allows you to monitor their breathing, their oxygen level, right from your smartphone so you don't have to get up you know every five minutes or six minutes to double right. check on them it actually will uh, it beam that information straight to your smartphone and you can monitor their oxygen and their heart rate levels so it's a nice oh. way to you know sort of in that worry hurt the baby it's not too does heavy. not hurt the baby it actually comes with three socks okay. um, and so this is actually the sensor that is removable on the inside here. Okay. So it pops right out and it comes with three different socks for three different sizes. Yeah. It's good up to 18 months, so as the baby grows, you just switch for a larger sock size. But this is what the sensor looks like and this is what the base looks like. This is what it transmits to as well. Oh, okay. So if it's glowing- so you keep this next to the crib keep, or? Keep next to, next to your bed, next to your oh, room. Okay. Um, but if it's glowing green, you know everything is fine. If it's red, you wanna check on, check on the baby, make sure everything's okay. It might also glow yellow and that just means you have the sock on incorrectly. So you wanna go and fix uh, the sock. You know, babies, babies wiggle at night, yeah. so you might have to go readjust the sock. But you can keep this near your base, but it also beams to your phone. So just to give you, you can get extra... that audible sort of uh, beep if something goes exactly. wrong. Exactly. It'll, it'll, it'll flash on here if something's wrong, or you can look at the phone and see whether That's something's wrong. Cool. It's a 100 feet range. So it definitely keeps... How much does this cost? So this is $299. Okay. So $299 wow. for some extra peace of mind. Again, I think it's very much for first-time parents. You know, right. well, you want to make sure everything's okay. You want to get in a rhythm with <laughs> your see, baby. You're a second child like myself. <laughs> you're like... Like, you trust it. You trust it. Exactly. It's all right. <laughs> Got but some first time parents child, sticking an Apple child. Watch on their kids. Exactly. Or exactly. So, definitely, I think uh, for that sort of new parent, just an extra peace of mind. Right. It just protects you and lowers your stress level so you know everything's okay. Absolutely. All yes. right. Now, tell us about uh, this box that's over so here. This 
fabulous box over here. Yeah. These are Felix Grey glasses. Okay. And so it's prescription. All, uh, so Brad, these are actually non-prescription. Well, I'll try these though. These are non-prescription glasses. Let's, let's hand a pair to Brad. Hand a pair to everyone. Non-prescription glasses. And you know the big thing right now is um, digital screens. We spend about seven and a half hours on a digital screen every day on okay. average. And so. What do these do? So what that means is that we're always taking in these harsh blue lights from the digital screen. Okay. And so that is why you get headaches. That's why, you know, your eyes hurt in the night because it's the, the high energy blue light coming off your computer screen or coming off your smartphone's smartphone screen. Mm -hmm. And what these do is these actually um, try to block that blue light or lessen the amount of blue light that's coming into your eyes, causing your headaches, causing dizziness, causing that blurriness. Right. And so again, non-prescription glasses, you don't have to have a prescription for them. Um, but you just pop them on as you're working and it just reduces the amount of blue light that your eyes are taking in. Um, and allows you not to get those headaches, not to get that small dizziness or any of that blurriness as well. And just protects your eyes from that strain. I think, you know what it is? While I do look very astute um, in these glasses, <laughs> Glasses, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you look fabulous. This is the thing, though, because I don't wear glasses normally. I'm one of the few people with great vision. <laughs> but when I have to wear glasses to look into things, it actually, that part gives me a headache, having to focus in through the lens. It's actually why I don't go see 3D movies either, because I can't handle wearing the glasses and looking through whatever oh, little really? lens. It's a weird side effect oh, for not goodness. having bad vision. Oh, <laughs> For having good vision, anytime I have to wear something that limits my vision, that actually messes up my eyes and gives me a headache. Interesting. Well, then I would recommend you not wear them. Okay. <laughs> but I look so cute in them. you look so great in them. You look so great in them. But I think uh, a, a majority of people, like I myself has, have great vision. I had LASIK a few years ago. Uh -huh. And so I haven't had to wear glasses for a long right. time. But I suffer from, especially when I'm working late at night, my eyes just really hurt from staring at the computer, staring at my phone all the time. And so these actually help. I was actually typing notes last night in, in these. And I was like, oh my goodness, I've been typing for hours. I need to stop because I need to go to bed. But like literally, I, my eyes, did, or I didn't have that strain or that dryness that I normally get from it. So it's definitely something to check out. They're $95. Okay. Um, FelixGray.com. And definitely worth checking out if you seem to suffer from eye strain from staring at computer screens. That definitely I do. Yeah. Just exactly. gonna wear them both These are all very cool that. things, and especially this cute little baby sock that obviously I don't have a kid because I don't know how to put this back on <laughs> properly. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank we you greatly for having appreciate me. it. That's tech and style expert Sherelle Stark.